After 15 years, Slam Ball is back by popular demand. We are live here in Las Vegas, getting set for week two of action. We are inside Cox Pavilion on the campus of UNLV. Our first matchup of the night will be the Lava at 0-2, taking on the Griffins at 0-2. What's up, everybody? Welcome inside. We are courtside here inside Cox Pavilion. Let me introduce you to my squad. He is John Dornbos, a 14-year NFL vet, Super Bowl champion with the Philadelphia Eagles. Great to have you in the seat. And we're also joined by my partner at ESPN, sideline reporter and betting analyst, Stormy Bonantoni. Guys, thank you so much. I am the voice of Slam Ball, John Schriffen. John, let me start with you. You're a former football player. You see slam ball, it is a combination of football, basketball, hockey, gymnastics, your court side, your live, what do you think? This is an absolute career highlight. Look, I thought I was a way better basketball player than I was growing up. This is the game we used to play in the basement where you're jumping off the walls. The athleticism is crazy, and I am so excited to be joined by you two courtside right here. Stormy, you're a sideline reporter, you're a betting analyst, so you're following the betting. The sports books here in town are starting to handicap, and we might have betting here soon, but you've also been talking to the players. What have you learned so far today? Well, first of all, everybody's going to notice it right away. High-flying, incredibly dynamic athletic out here from all of these players but in speaking with them the passion really comes through and how much they firmly believe that this is a sport of the future and who knows how far that it can go from a betting perspective though you said it off the top this is one of those events that people have been craving they've been wanting it back and the same goes for the betting market there is a demand for this and I'm really looking forward to when we're able to get some numbers out there for the sport all right let's introduce you to the players you should watch tonight first for the lava Bryce Morang John he is the number one overall pick here in slam ball look you got a guy who's physical who is beyond athletic but you also have a guy with an mba and a, and a ba extremely intelligent and educated which means this athleticism with smart decision making usually makes for a great player hbcu stand up he's from fam you you said he's got an mba he played basketball they call him baby brawn because he will make you look silly. Stormy, let's take a look at the stats here for Bryce. He's been getting it done so far this season. Yep, averaging 24 and a half points per game. You look at the rim attacks numbers. He's just such a dynamic player. In fact, co-founder of the sport, Slam Ball, said that he might be the most complete player that they have ever seen. Can't wait to get him out there tonight. He has been fun to watch. For the other squad, the player you need to watch for the Griffs, Justin Holmes. I talked to him before the game. He said he's a former player for San Jose State. Didn't think he'd ever be back in the spotlight, but his favorite call this weekend, his grandma said, wait a minute, I saw you on ESPN. You got to love it. They call him the juggernaut, baby. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> look, in college, he went 20 games with a catch. It was one of the longest consecutive uh, 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 game streak with catches, which means this. I love him because he is constantly making plays. Great players make great plays in big games, and they make them all the time. Stormy, Justin Holmes has been fearless out there. He's dynamic. He's aggressive. But something that I thought was interesting, he told me, is while he doesn't consider himself a flashy player, despite some of the highlights that we just saw moments ago, he really utilizes the tramps to his advantage. It's a difficult thing for a lot of these players who come from the basketball and football backgrounds to adjust to these tramps, and he really found a way to get to the rim utilizing those as best as he can. Starting lineups presented by Old Trapper. First, we take a look at the lava. We play four on four here in Slam Ball. Nathaniel Harris, Bryce Morang, Joshua Shannon, and Fessel Shafat. There are three positions here in Slam Ball. Either a handler, it's like a point guard in basketball. A gunner, you're the one attacking the rim. And the stopper, you're waiting underneath the basket to block. Head coach for the lava, Josh Carlton. He said, we are a super talented team, but the reason why we're 0-2 right now, John, they made too many turnovers. He wanted to simplify the offense here in week two. Hey, tur turnovers kill you. You got to control the ball. Starting lineup for the Grips. We highlighted him in the open. Justin Holmes joined by Adam Stanford, Keyshawn Jones, and Connor Hollenbeck. He is one of the best stoppers in the game. Former slam ball player, Jelani Janice, head coach for the Griffs, also 0-2. We start each half with a throwdown. It's important to know the scoring. There are either a two, three, or four pointers scored in slam ball. And the throwdown has started the action here in Vegas. The Griffs wearing the white, have the ball first. 
Now, an important rule. When a player takes off and enters the tramps, you cannot touch them. So that is a foul against Bryce Moran of the Lava. That means we don't shoot free throws. We have face-offs. The player who is fouled will go one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Face-off! Oh! Half song! Adam Stanford with a first dunk of the game for the Grizz. And I'll tell you, John, that this is one of those things that is going to be rubbing their head coach, Josh Carlson, the wrong way, that that's how they started this game. I asked him his keys. He said, number one, don't foul. We can't beat ourselves. After a faceoff, you keep possession of the ball. When you transfer from one tramp to the next, you got to release it. There's a jump shot. That'll be good for three off the mark. Here's Lava. First offensive possession, Bryce Morang. Oh, bring it in. Bryce Morang with the showtime early. You'll notice here in Slam Ball, it is back to back, end to end action. And that was called a popcorn. So a popcorn is when the defensive player stops the offensive player's bounce. That is a foul. So because they're now in the bonus, two points awarded to the Griffs, they keep the ball. I'll tell you the position that most interests me, I love the stopper position because the ability for an offense to get him off balance definitely gives you an advantage when going in for a dunk or trying to score. The stopper is the guy who waits on the wood underneath the basket. He's trying to time the jump of the player coming in to block it. There's a turnover. Griff's coming the other way. And this is what we're talking about. The stopper. Oh, never mind. Here comes the stopper. And what I love about that position, right, is that unlike hockey and a goalie, he can play offense, so he's not just stuck under the basket. And that stopper can be a revolving person as well. Keyshawn Jones, and a shot clock violation. It's a 20-second shot clock. We play five-minute quarters here in Slam Ball, running clock. I'll tell you a rule I find interesting is there's no inbound, even after a basket, right, which keeps the pace of this game so fast. alley -oop. Josh Shannon with the dunk. So that's three more points for the Lava. They got a one-point lead. Coming the other way! Oh, Keyshawn Jones! I mean, when you're here live and you see the height, these guys are getting up to 20 feet in the air off these trampolines. Yeah. Come on, come on, get here! When you leave the tramp, you got to reset off the wall. That's what Morang just did there. This is called freestyle when he throws it to himself. He's trying to find an now outlet. Got to get up with the shot clock winding down. That's a four off the mark. Morang with the board. And that's one of those things we haven't seen a lot of the four-point shots ball so far here in Slam Ball. But a lot of the coaches have said they expect as these weeks go on, they get more comfortable. We're going to see more of it. Steph Curry has changed the game of basketball, and a lot of these players are very familiar with shooting from the outside. Well, there's a four right there. Jones off the mark. Rebound goes to Shafar. But I think you also got to make a note that the, the three-point line is three or four feet further than the NBA. I mean, I was shooting there before the game. It's a bomb. Yeah, John is getting them up. I wasn't coming close. Let, let, let's not get too excited. Oh, it's not an easy shot. It's far. So it's four points if you shoot it beyond the arc, three points on the wood in the goal. If you dunk it home from the tramps, that's a three, but he threw it in there, so that's just a two-pointer for Justin Holmes. So no rim contact on, a, on, a, on an attempted dunk becomes a layup, which is two points. Barang missed the timing, but he gets his own board. Riffs with a one-point lead. Shot from the outside, no good. Under two minutes to play here in this first quarter. Five-minute quarters, running clock, off the mark, turnover to the Lava. Turnovers can be so detrimental in this game because of the pacing of it. Oh, that's huge. Josh Shannon with two hands on the stopper's head. This is what we want. We want to see some hits, but once you head into the tramp zone, you got to let him go. Here we go. I mean, to me, this is kind of like a tennis match. You watch it on TV, it's cool, but when you go, that ball is flying. When you come here and see how hard these guys are hitting and how high they're getting, this is unbelievable. Let him go, let him go. Come on. So that was a travel, right? So it was, called, established. it was called two on the island. You can't have two guys on an island, and you can't have two of the same players in the same tramp. So that's why it was a turnover on the grips. The island is that black part in the middle of all the tramps. You're allowed to stand there for no more than three seconds. No hit. Under a minute to play here in this first quarter. Shot from the outside. A popcorn is called. And that was a violation against the lava, so another turnover. 
always tell people the popcorns. I mean, you know, you jump on a trampoline as a little kid, you can double bounce somebody or you can stop the bounce, and that's what that is. Hey, Sean Jones again, elevating, getting up. Under 30 seconds of play here in this first. The Grist with a three point lead. And that was two Lava players in the chair. Anybody, another anybody, turnover. side out. Side out, Lava. Side out, Lava. That's Josh Carlton you just see. He's telling his guys, you can't jump together. You gotta time it right. It's the fundamental things that you have to execute, play in and play out. And those things at the end of the game, when you look back and, and watch film, that could be a, a, a make or break of the game. What a pass from Chafon, the dunk thrown down by Morang, and it's a tie ball game. Final seconds here in the first. Here comes Jones, yes. and denied by the stopper play is what I'm talking about. The position I am most excited about. What a first quarter here in Vegas. Back to back, high flying. This is what the fans came to see. We're all tied after one. Stays here, stays here, stays here. Bryce Morang, number 23, Lava, Gunner. Well, obviously watching it, you just don't, you just don't really understand how the physicality, you know, and how much skill really goes into the sport and just how serious the sport is. I wouldn't say I have a signature dunk, you know, being that high in the air, I feel like that's when my creativity kicks in. There are some great stoppers in this league, don't get me wrong, but my mindset is like, you can't touch me. I mean, right on cue. Fessel Shafat, one of the best stoppers in the game. Here he comes with the ball, trying to bring it up for the lava. Welcome back to Vegas. Alongside John Dornboss and Stormy Bonantoni, I'm John Trippin. Second quarter, here come the Griffs. Coming the other way. Oh, Popcorn. You Popcorn. cannot make contact with the player coming the other way. And a foul to start this second quarter. And we'll have a face-off. So Kayshawn Jones, who was fouled, will go up against Special Shafat. Here's the faceoff, one on one. A chance for redemption for Fashat. Doesn't work out in his favor. Two points. So because he didn't throw it down, making contact with the rim, it's a two. Here's the replay, Stormy. So the Griffs keep possession of the ball. A two point lead. You're allowed to stand on the island. You got to get off there in three seconds. And the throwdown is good for Jordan Grant. Three points for a dunk. Four points for a shot beyond the arc. Two points inside the tramp if you don't make contact with the rim. There's a three-point dunk for Nathaniel Harris. Grant resets the offense from the island. Finds his cutter in Justin Holmes. His dunk off the mark. Holmes with the hustle. The wide receiver out of San Jose State resets. Three off the mark for Jones. Stormy, how do you even handicap a sport like this if you're a, a Vegas sports book as we're trying to get betting action in here on Slam Ball? Well, it's a small sample size here so far from the opening weekend, but I know the odds makers are certainly going to be looking at that, looking at margin of victory seeing the type of styles that some of these players and teams come out with, right? Like, are they more defensive focused? Or are they the offensive power? Because it's not only spreads, right? It's totals as well. Oh, is that goaltend? That's got to be goaltending. Yeah, well, goal it, 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 it hit the rim. It might have hit the rim first. Yeah, if it hits at the rim and bounces out, then you can Then you can it. grab it. That's a layup. Two more points for Keyshawn Jones. And a lot of take a four-point lead. Here's Greg Helt. Throwing it to himself in order to transfer from one tramp to the next. You got to release the basketball. Oh, he tried it, John. He tried it. Stanford, big bounce, but he can't jam it home. I want, I want Nathaniel Harris to get the ball. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited to see some of his dunks with his pass. Uh, you know, being with the Pacers uh, NBA dunk team. The Pacers power pack. Power pack. I'm looking to see some excitement out of a guy that I don't know is vertical 30, 40 inches, and now it's 20 feet. <laughs> I want to see some creativity. There's three guys on all different teams here from that Pacers power pack, and they said, we have got that comfortability on the tramps. We have the edge over everybody else. Yeah, they live on it, right? It makes total sense. Shot clock's winding down. It's at one, and Shafant doesn't get it off. Shot clock violation. 
So just like hockey, subs happen on the fly. They don't have to stop the action. As new players come on, and the clock will continue to run as we approach two minutes to play here in this first half. And I like that you gave the hockey side of that there, because sometimes it is just one player, one player, but sometimes they do full line changes going out. When you leave the tramps, to onto the hardwood, you got to reset off the wall. Good block by the stopper. That was Jihad Shockley. Great play. A four-point lead for the Griffs. Both squads looking for their first win this season in slam ball. Here's Bryce Morang. He came down awkwardly, and Morang is still down. Hold up. He's the number one overall pick out of Florida A&M. He played basketball in college, but he is down right now. This could be a huge hit, and, and when you're around him and you see the way he interacts with the players, the leadership that comes out of this uh, individual in the locker room uh, when, when the guys are out and on the field, uh, leadership's a big deal right here, and this team is hoping he is not going down. Came down awkwardly there on the tramp, and he's somebody that before the season was dealing with an ankle injury. You wonder if that could, I mean, that's what it looks like, at least what we're seeing in front of us, but he was told four to six weeks and came back early because he was fighting so hard to be able to be available for his team week one. I hate to see a guy like that down right now. So the medical staff is attending to Bryce Morang, and just give you guys some context. The top players were invited here to Vegas for the draft. They've been here for about two months. They've been training, and before they even touched the basketball, for the first week, it was all about just feeling comfortable on the tramps, because these are Olympic-grade tramps. They are sending you high into the air. You have to learn how to bounce and come down safely. That was the first thing they all learned out here, John. You know, I don't know if I should admit this or not, but I have a four-year-old daughter. We went to the trampoline park. I took two jumps and got a headache. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm 42, or what's going on here, but when you come out here and see this, like you just said, there is an art to being able to jump, flip, fall, and manage your body in space. Uh, I wish I had it. I wish I could have played this game 10 years ago. Um, I don't need more, and I know that everybody here and everybody watching is hoping that Bryce is gonna jump up and get back in the game. Top overall pick in this league. He is somebody that everybody wants to succeed because he's one of those faces, one of those personalities. Glad to see him All right, he's up, up on his feet right now. Now let's see if he can walk this off or they're gonna help him out and probably go evaluate that ankle. So his teammate Paxton Henry is gonna come over and give him some help as they help him off the floor. You know, and these are the moments uh, where stars are born, right? When all of a sudden the ace goes down, you hope you got it on the bench or you hope a player is going to step up. So it's going to be interesting to see who steps up and takes the void of 2-3 right now and, and lead the lava to victory. He wears 23 for LeBron James. They call him Baby Braun as he's helped off the floor right now. A huge law for the lava. Let's see who's going to step up with the lava trailing by four. The clock was stopped for the injury. 1.30 to play here in this first half. Well, and he not only brings the talent, obviously, out here to the court, but he's got the confidence, too. And you know how confidence can translate from guy to guy, right? When one guy's playing with it, it can translate to somebody else. And so I hope that they're able to recoup and get on track. Swag goes a long way. Look good, feel yeah. good, play good. It also goes to show you a lot of people watch this at home and be like, oh, I could do that. That's easy. <laughs> no, it is not. It is not easy. These are some of the top athletes who have trained to be on these tramps to know how to land safely. Again, it's one of those things that when you're here live, you really appreciate the height that they're getting. Nice stop by Connor Hollenbeck of the Grits. A four-point lead is minute to play here in this first half. Stanford, that'll be a three-pointer, and it goes down. Our first jump shot of the game, and the Griffs extend their lead. Big shot right there, big shot. Two Lava players in the same tramp, so that's a turnover, a violation. So uh, w when I started following Slam Ball, I actually had to Google what a Griffin was. I know that's embarrassing. And if you're at home wondering, this is what it is. It's an eagle head with eagle wings and a lion body. Mythical creature, there you go. Little, well done, well done, little gem to take home. <laughs> I did my research. We need to add that to the glossary terms that we have. Yes, it's important. I know what lava is. I got it. <laughs> Shot clock turned off now. 12 seconds to play here in the half. Running start. Here comes Deshaun Kelly. Hand off to his teammate in Holmes, rejected by Shafon. Final second here in the half. And the heave is no good. 
It's the Griffs with an eight point lead after the first half. Both teams here in Slam Ball looking for their first win. And here it is, hey look. We are ready to rock and roll and we will be back. Beautiful look at the Las Vegas Strip. We are live here at halftime of Slam Ball. The Griffins with a 28-18 lead over the Lava. Kayshawn Jones for the Griffs with a 10 points in that first half, leading all scores. Well, the big news in that first half, number one overall pick, best player in the league, Bryce Morang, leaving the game with an ankle injury for the Lava. We're looking in on the huddle, head coach Josh Carlton getting his guys together to see who is now going to step up with Bryce Morang not in there. John Dornbos, Stormy Bond and Tony, John Shrippen on the call. John, your first half of slam ball, what was the big takeaway for you? Uh, it, it's overwhelming the excitement. Like, it's, it, it, you're, you get so involved in the game. It's so fast paced. Uh, the athleticism, the acrobatics. Like, this isn't just sport. This is the, the entertainment factor is amazing. I know this, uh, if I'm from out here, I'm getting season tickets to slam ball first thing. We take a look at some of the first half highlights. That was Kayshawn Jones, Stormy. He leads all scorers with 10 points in that first half. Yeah, he's been fun. And, and I mean, he expects that of himself, too. When you talk to the, the coaches before the game and everything, like he's somebody who they anticipate having a good day, and he's coming out there and being a tone setter. Yeah, and, 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 you, and you look at this, it's 10 points in 10 minutes. This guy's averaging a point a minute. These are Hall of Fame numbers. I wish I averaged a point a minute. Halftime stats presented by Circa Resorts. We take a look at the Griffs with an eight point lead. Seven stops for the Lava. That's Fessel Shafat. He's really keeping the Lava in this game right now. He is, and, and he was a player that I was super excited to watch. Uh, again, to the entertainment factor, right? This is a, a ridiculous athlete. Uh, who also is on television. He knows the entertainment factor. He is here laying it all on the line, and he's a big body. He's a physical player. Fun to watch. You see the fans who are here in the house. Thank you to the fans, because it is because of you that Slam Ball is even back. People were tweeting about it, watching videos on YouTube. This past week, things blew up so much. We're now on ESPN2 on national TV. John, this is a phenomenon. I'm glad the fans are watching here live in person. Yeah, and when you look around, it's families, which to me, sport is about family. There's so much you learn about yourself, uh, about your team, and uh, the, the perseverance you learn, and, and the life lessons. And so to come here with your family, that the kids can see them, they can hear them, they can feel them. They're involved in the action. Like I said, this is great family entertainment, great sport. I love it. Josh Carlson, head coach for the Lava, talking to his guys here at the half. He said, we are one of the most talented teams in the league. We were a little too aggressive in week one. We caused too many fouls. That gave away too many points for the other team. We want to be a little less aggressive, a few less turnovers, but now they're without their best player here in this second half. Standing by with the head coach, Josh Carlin, is Stormy. Obviously unfortunate to see your top star player in Bryce go down. What did you tell your group just now as they get set for the second half? Uh, I mean, I challenged them to say, hey, okay, you don't have a savior coming to win this game for you. It's on you guys. This is your professional athletes. You want to be the star, your chance to be the star. Bryce is gone. Let's see who's going to be the star and do it. Do you have any update on his status right now? No, they said it was his ankle. Um, he had an ankle injury in the preseason that was pretty bad. I think it's the same ankle. So unfortunately, it's not great. So it's going to be on us to win this one. Appreciate you. Yep. All right, unfortunate news. Doesn't sound like Bryce Morang will make a return here in this game. An opportunity for somebody else on the lava. And they start this second half with a defensive stop shot clock violation. You know, when you have a big defensive play, you want to capitalize. Uh, hopefully this isn't the team being rattled, thinking about losing probably their star player. Hopefully they just settle down. They get in the groove. They make plays. And we see what happens. You can't bounce in the same tramp or another one without releasing the ball. That's why they're throwing it up to themselves. 
Shockley pinned against the glass, and that's a foul. The player with the ball has to put the ball on the floor first before contact is allowed. That didn't happen. A foul is called. Now, we don't shoot free throws. We're going to have a face-off. It'll be Jihad Shockley on offense for the Lava against the guy who fouled him, Kayshawn Jones. And it it's time for a face-off. Oh! Shockley won that battle. Three points for the dunk, and the Lava keep the ball. And I like how face-offs are changing, right, based on uh, who they're going against, their strengths, their weaknesses, whether they come from the top of the key or whether they come from the sideline over there. There you saw him come head on. Stopper coming from the corner. Just not enough to, to stop him. Good stop by the stopper for the Griffs. That's Connor Hollenbeck. And once the player leaves the floor entering the tramp, he cannot be touched. You saw that contact on Justin Holmes. So he is fouled. It'll be a face-off on this end for the Griffs. Justin Holmes, for nine months, he said he was out of sports after playing college football at San Jose State into a football. He said he's so glad to be a professional athlete again. Face off! Throwing it down as he stares down his man. Justin Holmes. That was nasty. I love it. And, and what you were saying about Holmes just being excited to be a pro athlete, I was fortunate to do it for 14 years. There's something about your soul and your heart uh, and showing up with a group of guys that are trying to achieve the same thing. You're around greatness every day. You improve every aspect of your life when you continue to surround yourself by it. No. Holmes said he was a healthcare recruiter for nine months, wearing a suit. When he got the call, he said, thank you. Slam ball is what I need in my life. Yeah, uh, healthcare recruit, sorry. I'm going to have to call you guys back on that. And I asked no. him, actually, do you plan after the season is over to maybe go back to that? And he said, I'm hoping to do this for a long time. So that's another indication of what they hope this tour can be. A guy who can get up. Kayshawn Jones, leading score. Here's Justin Holmes with the contact. Yeah, that hit almost ended up in the booth right here. I did get nervous. You got a former NFL star next to you. He'll protect you. <laughs> They've got the pads on. I don't, yeah, I need you. That's exactly. Dive on over. I got it. Shockley enters the slam zone, has to get rid of it. Shot from Greg Health in the corner, off the mark. Lava, they're being aggressive. They get the ball back. Shot clock resets to 12. Health missing again. I mean, as you watch this game, you start seeing strategy and you start realizing there's a lot of dunks. If a shooter came out here like a Steph Curry and just started dropping bombs from downtown consistently, it would completely change the dynamic of scoring. Go, K. Sean Jones. You better recognize he's up to 16 points, leads all scores. Hollenbeck with the stop, and he's, and he's holding, holding his, his kidneys. Head. You hear that? Oh, my goodness. That was a collision. Oh, and Shannon throws it down off the alley-oop. But going back to the speed of the game right there, he makes an amazing stop. And guess what? You got to come right back up to it, and they end up scoring. He took a big fall. How about this? Number 23 for the Lava, Bryce Morang. Back on the floor after injuring his ankle in that first half. We weren't expecting to see him. Shafat has it tipped away, will reset. Shot clock's at 10. That's the short corner. It would have been a three off the mark by Henry. Here comes Holmes. He will stand on that island to find a cutter. Or Josh Carlson, if you're here, and head coach for the Lava telling his guys to go get that ball. They did, and they find themselves down by 10 here in this third quarter. What's well, going to be interesting? Fight on the floor. Shannon, he's being held in the tramp. Picking it up is Justin Let Holmes go. for the Griffin. <laughs> He's going one on two. He doesn't oh. care. There's a collision. I mean, you look out here. Bryce Morang is on the court hobbling around, doing anything he can to help his team win. That's nothing but respect. A four-point shot from Kayshawn Jones. He's up to 20 points on the night. Oh, what a hit by Holmes. That's that football player right there. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Lowered the shoulder, clean hit. 
About half the players in slam ball come from basketball. The other half comes from football. We do have a sprinkling in of some people who are gymnastic background. But this is the collision between football and basketball. Who's the superior athlete? And, and with Hollenbeck, look, I'm a fan. He, he's got a basketball background, but he was also a punter. I was a long snapper, so I, I don't really know the guy, but I feel like him and I are going to vibe. I'm rooting for him. <laughs> Special teams unite. Yes. Here comes Kelly. Shot clock winding down. It's at three. Griff's got to get a shot off, throwing up at the rim, off the rim. And Shafat comes away. It's five seconds to play here in this third quarter. Henry off the tramp, throws the floater up, and it's no good. So the Griffs extend their lead up by 14, and Kayshawn Jones leads all scores with 20 points. I, I love this, but I'm going to go back to my guy Hollenbach. He's played 14 minutes, made some huge stops. It's exciting. Welcome back inside Cox Pavilion here on the campus of UNLV here in Las Vegas. John Schriffen alongside John Dornboss and Stormy Bonatoni. Fourth quarter we go. Lava trailing, but they get the dunk. That's good for three points as they cut into the lead for the Griffs. Something we haven't seen, and I know you being an ex-NFL guy, John, we haven't seen a lot of big hits, a lot of finesse here early on in this first game of the night. You know, we haven't, but I, the night is young, and so I think it's going to happen. 11-point lead for the Griffs. We play five-minute running quarters. Running start. Shafar! And the stopper, Connor Hollenbeck, wins that battle. Defense leading to offense as Adam Stanford adds three more for the Griffs. What a mean pick. There's Shockley. He's put it on the floor so he can get hit. Five seconds. Harris on the island. Has to put up a jumper. And it goes. That's good for two. A shot inside the tram. A three-pointer from the corner off the mark. I think it's safe to say the lob is expecting a lot out of Shockley right now. He's given an opportunity to kind of fill the void of Bryce. And we'll see if he delivers. He's doing a great job so far. Huge collision under the basket. Oh, behind the basket. But tripped up, no foul call. Here comes Henry, the masked man with the goggles. Don't forget, when they hit the island, they can no only violation. stay on that thing for three seconds. Ben Allen, Ben Allen. Bryce Morang, who came back into the game, he's by, standing by with Stormy. Bryce, I know you tried to come back and gut it out a little bit. What's going on with you right now? Uh, just ankle injury. Just tweaked my ankle. Tried to go back in. Can't do it, but I'm still here supporting my team. I think I got faith in they can get it done. Yeah, I saw in that last break when you guys all huddled up here, you had some words for them. What did you say? Uh, just, you know, keep the intensity up. You know, still got one more quarter, so two minutes up, 245. Still got a chance to win this game, so. Well, we're all pulling for you, buddy. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. John, you're a 14-year NFL vet. You won a Super Bowl with the Eagles. What does it mean when a guy is injured to still be with his guys on the bench? Well, I was just going to say, that that is that is true leadership. That's true passion. That's a guy that isn't just out here for himself, but he's out here because he wants to see his team succeed. He wants to see his teammates succeed. And when you go to training camp and you battle and you get injured and you, you bleed next to your buddies and uh, you, know, you become warriors together, that's what you want is to be there for one another, support one another, and uh, get a victory as a team. A four-pointer goes from the corner for Nathaniel Harris. This game's not done just yet. Huge and hit. Here's the steal. And a foul oh. is called. Now here. So it'll be a face-off for the lava. Alex, he never dribbled. He never dribbled when he was hit. Here's a replay of this hit, John. Which way, Alex? I, hey, look, I, I like seeing him get physical. Again, he's he's one of my favorites, right? Why? Because this guy comes from a trampling dunk background. So to see him lower his shoulder, get physical, I'm a fan. And now this is it right here. I'm standing up for this. I don't know. 
We got Daniel a face-off. Against Justin Holmes. It's a face-off. No contest. He quick jumped him. Hey, look, Harris is going to dominate that part of his game, and he very well should. So three-pointers for the face-off off the dunk. He went straight up quickly to the rim, didn't go high, didn't give the stopper a chance to time it, and the Lava keep the ball down by five. Remember, three points for a dunk. An outside shot from the hardwood is three, and beyond the arc is four points. Here comes Stanford from the wing. Huge stop. Josh Shannon keeps the Lava alive. Here comes Harris. Stands on the island, trying to find a cutter. The power slam from Greg Held, and it's a two-point game. In the back. So foul going into the trim is Adam Stanford. That means we're going to have a face-off for the Griffs, a player who fouled them on defense. Stanford, he'll have the rock. Alright, John, who you got? Stanford or Health on D? Uh, look, I'm going Health on D, man. This guy was part of the hooligans. I'm all day long with help. Here's Health looking for the stop, oh. and he doesn't get it. It was Stanford who got to the rim first. Okay with the celebration. You know what, though? It looked like he was going in. It was just a little bit timid. And again, this is where the strategy comes in, that if you can get that guy you know, flying in there, the let's stopper, go, to kind go. of be a little bit off balance, and the timing's off a little bit. It's a huge advantage on a faceoff. Three more hey, points for the Griffs. They keep the ball after a faceoff. Here's the stopper. Holland back, turning defense into offense. Nothing doing the stop by Shannon. Reset, reset. Lava, they get the ball back, down by five. Still plenty of time, over a minute to play. Off the foot of Harris. And it's going to be a turnover to the Griffs. D up, D up, D up. 20 second shot clock, so there's still a few possessions left in this game. The Lava can come back. Almost resets out of the trance, off the wall. Dribbles. Now throws it down with the power slam. Wow. Justin Holmes out of Sacramento. That is just straight power right there. So a foul call that we two only point. have one face-off per quarter. So now in the bonus, the Lava get two points and they keep the ball. Timeout, Josh Carlson, head coach. He wants to talk things over for his squad, down by six. Six They're points out. in this game they is a blink one. of an eye. So it is close. Right uh, I, I love the fact Josh that they only get one timeout right, right in, in, in right the fourth quarter. That. That's okay. We have a run with you. So Let's listen to in to Josh Carlson. Game, try to get game there, get a shot here. at the top and a follow, or we go stack and try to swing through for a shot. What do you guys want to do? Stack or game winner? Okay, game winner, Josh. We're going to split like this, though. So Josh, Josh is here. Uh, Nate, you go over here. Hod, you're here. Oh, wait. Pax is over here. Who else is in? Greg, you're here on the top. See who they're gonna guard. If they don't guard you, Josh, you just step in and make this shot. If not, hit the open guy, take a shot. Backside, whoever this is, this is. Hot, right? Okay, Hod, you go over here, Pax, you come here. Hod, you're getting in for that tip. Now, there's 38 seconds. Be ready. We make this point. Hey, you guys, both can't Be smart here. Be smart. Hey, yo, yo, where are we going? 20 seconds. Okay, yo, Chris on three. One, two, three. Chris. Who's setting the, who's coming up and getting the ball? You are. Right. You are. And I'm faking it to him, giving it to him. Yes. Right. Yes. Just listen in to Josh Carlson, head coach for the Lava. Coming up next will be the Ozone taking on the only undefeated team here in Slam Ball, the Mob. They are perfect all the season at 4-0. and oh. You don't want to miss like them coming up next. They are nasty. They are on a run and talking to their coach beforehand. The strategy that they have and their use of almost playing like a volleyball offense is brilliant and it is working. So coming out of the timeout, let's see what the Lava are able to draw up here. Under 40 seconds to play here in this third quarter. Shannon getting red set inbound. Crowd getting loud here at Cox Pavilion. What an environment here in Vegas to the corner. That's Harris. That's a four-point shot, and it's not over just yet. Big players make big plays and big games right there. You're coming down in the final seconds, and you throw up a four-pointer. It's huge. The Lava cannot foul here. 
That was two in the tramp. They didn't call it. Lana coming the other way. Down by two. Shot clock turned off. Here comes Greg Hill in the corner. Ten seconds to play. Die for the loose ball. Lana have it. Hilt needs to get something up. Entering the tramp. Patty couldn't find Harris. And that's how it will end. The Griffs hold on for a two-point win, 47-45, and the Griffs get their first win of the season. They move to one and two. The Lava fall to 0 and three. Hey, it's a heart heartbreak loss for the Lava, not just in the game, but also in the future of Bryce. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And uh, coming up next, who do we got? Coming up. Coming up next, we got the Mob and the Ozone final here. The Griffs win it by two.